Okay, so I am uh, sitting here in Australia, in a very, uh, very sunny part of Australia today, at uh, one sort of extreme end of the earth, if you like, and whereabouts are you at the moment, Scott? Uh, I'm currently sitting in my car in the north of England, uh, in the dark and the rain and cold. Right, so I guess sort of part of the, the point of, of why we're doing this from Australia and the UK is just to show that we are on uh, as, about as remote locations as we could possibly be. Uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about your car. Uh, well, I've got the, the Nissan Leaf, which is a, a fully electric vehicle. Um, it comes with some uh, very nice remote capabilities that I can control uh, certain features within the car from the mobile app. Okay, so we're going to see if I may be able to control certain features as well. Uh, and, and just for, for context, this is not a, a car purchased for research purposes, right? No, yeah, this is my car, so be gentle. So for, for, for background, uh, this is, I, I guess, a, a vulnerability in our view that someone reported during one of my workshops uh, when I was over in, in Oslo in January. And just by pure coincidence, us, us knowing each other, we discovered that you have the same vehicle which is what's led us to this, and, and by even more coincidence, someone else has just reported this same vulnerability to me uh, from Canada. Uh, and this is also a month after I first reported it to, to Nissan as well, so quite a bit of time has passed by. Uh, so look, what we want to do then is uh, see what I can control from this end. And I, I guess the, the first thing is I can see that you're, you've got a big jacket on, it's cold there. Should we look at uh, what we might be able to do with the heater, see if we can bring you up to Australia temps for a little bit. So I'm going to jump over to uh, one of the URLs I have here, and I've got one here to turn the climate control on. And I, I guess the most important thing here with this, this website address is that the only real identifier here that allows me to choose the car which has the climate control turned on is the VIN number. And in fact, uh, I'm going to obfuscate uh, just the last five digits of this VIN because everything up until there is the same across uh, all the Nissan Leafs I've seen. So it's just a question of if you know pretty much five numbers, you can start to control other vehicles that may be connected to this system. So let me copy that. Uh, if you'd like to show us your controls now, I'm going to go and put this in my browser, and I'm now going to load this address, and I'm just waiting for a response to come back from the server. I've got a response. What's happening at your end, Scott? Uh, nothing just now. It usually takes a minute or two for the, uh, for the system to communicate, but we'll see what happens. And so normally this is this is something that would be requested via the mobile app, right? Beeping. Oh, there we go. Oh, my heated seats have come on. <clears throat> the, the air conditioning and the fans have just come on as well. Uh, you can see up the, there's a status indicator on the dashboard to show that the... the the car's currently being controlled remotely, uh, which is now blinking. And I'm not sure if you can hear that, but um, all of the fans have come on on full power. It's actually quite loud in here. Right, okay. Well, I, I don't want to make it uh, too loud on you there. So why don't I go through and uh, actually turn that back off for you? Because I've got another URL here which should be able to turn uh, systems off on your end. So I'm going to copy that one and jump back into my browser. I'm pasting that in now. Let's, uh, let's load that. So the request is going out. I've got a result back, so uh, tell us when you start seeing things turn off there as well, Scott. Okay. Uh, well, the indicator's still on at the minute. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. And and so again, uh, so I just oh, sort there of, we go. All right, that just stopped blinking. And and this would be the same result whether I was sort of in the car or not, right? Or rather, whether you were in the car or not. Yeah, yeah, these are all features that you control either uh, by the website or the app. Um, you can't actually control them while the vehicle's in use, so it's, um, they're convenience features for preheating or pre-cooling the vehicle before you get in. So in the UK, I use it a lot to preheat the car before I get in it. Um, and yeah, I mean, as you can see, um, I don't have my key on me, um, so the ignition button uh, doesn't work. The vehicle's completely off, um, as it would be if it was parked unattended. Okay, so hey, uh, look, let's look at one more thing. I want to jump back over to my list of URLs here. I've got one here that uh, should be able to give me your driving history as well. So let me just plug that into the browser. And I might uh, snap this browser over to the other side so we can actually see your face while it's happening. 
All right, so what I'm looking at here is uh, a whole bunch of information, in fact, quite an extensive amount of information about recent trips. So if I scroll down all the way to today, and, and your today is 21st of Feb. So let's have a look here. Yeah. I can see uh, trip ID number one, which is there. I can see that you've done, uh, looks like 146 yards. Would that be right for your first trip today? Uh, yeah, actually, I do recall that, yep. <laughs> okay, trip ID number two, that's uh, 1,542 yards, also right? Yep, that is about correct, yep. Uh, and then you've done a couple of long ones, trip ID number three, 60,000 yards, trip ID number four, 58,000 yards, which is sort of 30 plus miles. Um, is that those sort of two correct there? <laughs> yep, yep, I was... Um dropping off my little boy this morning, running some errands, and the two longer ones were uh, going snowboarding and back. Um, so that's exactly what I've done. They, they are exactly correct. And I've got GPS date times here and a whole bunch of aggregate information down the bottom as well. Uh, looks like you've had about 135 trips this month. Um, does, that also sounds right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that does. <laughs> okay, so uh, look, I mean, I, I think that's sort of the, the point we wanted to make, obviously being able to remotely control certain features of the vehicle uh, and then obviously also being able to pull back information about your movements. Uh, and, and at the moment, this is effectively an unauthenticated API that it looks like any vehicles that are registered uh, can return. Different APIs in different locations. We saw different host names in uh, Norway and Canada. Uh, as opposed to the UK, but all of this information's uh, still in there. So, look, thanks very much, Scott. I, I think we've sort of made the point from about as opposite uh, ends uh, of the earth as we can. Thanks for that, mate. No worries. Thank you very much.